Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity mod. So today is day 8 of our death mode let's play and we are now in hard mode which means we need to do the hard mode routine which is essentially mining, 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 a little bit of crafting and then some more mining and that's the day, uh, well that's what happens every single time you go into hard mode, that's day 1 of hard mode. So I've actually enabled a brand new mod that you guys recommended to make this a little bit easier. As you can see, I've already got a little bit of cobalt because I was uh, trying to test it out and then it broke my game. But that doesn't matter. So it's called Vein Miner and what it allows you to do is mine a whole vein of ore. So the title of the mod kind of says it all. So I'm going to check it out. This is le legit going to be my first time showing it off on camera. I'm excited. I haven't actually managed to get it to work yet, but I feel like I have. Because it needs a special key that you activate every time you use it. And essentially what happens is, every time I set the key, my game breaks. So we're going to see what happens. Okay. Let's mine away that stone. Right, let's zoom into this, guys. Okay, so I'm going to hold the mine key, which is, I've set this to the letter C. Oh my god. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my god, that makes it so much easier. That's lovely. That's so overpowered, though. I don't think I would use that in, um, in hard mode. The only reason I'm using it now is because... Essentially, I'm going to use that cobalt for two minutes, not even that. I'm literally using it to move to the next piece of ore, essentially. And it gets rid of my frustration. Like, I speak to, obviously, a lot of Terraria YouTubers, so I can, they're the people I at least know. And everyone I know always says the worst part about hard mode is going into hard mode and then just having to mine forever. You know what I mean? It just, it drags, it drags. So in today's episode, we've actually got a lot of stuff to do. We've got to go through all of the ores, so cobalt, mithril, titanium, and then we're moving to cryonic ore, which is going to be interesting. So cryonic ore is kind of like the next step in our progression, in the sense of like, we had skyline wings, or we had that sky armor or whatever, and then now we've got this stat gel. The next one is without a doubt uh, the cryonic one. So the thing with cryonic ore is that you can actually mix it with some cores of, I think, I can't remember which one it is. It might be like helium and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, one of the cores, and you can actually make some like wings, you can make some weapons and stuff. And I thought that's what we could do today. And you know what, if I get super, super into it and I have a lot of time today, we I, I, I'm never sure how much time I'm going to have to record uh, because I like to do it throughout the day. So what I'll do is, if I actually get loads of time, I might even attempt a boss or something like that. Just something like a little bit different, because today's episode is going to be uh, otherwise quite run of the mill, to be honest. You know, just got a little bit of a little bit of everything to do. Right, so I'm literally going to go mining now because I've got this overpowered mod, uh, which I'm only using for now. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll craft up some stuff. But I guess I'll show you the little progression stuff along the way, or at least when we get to Cryonicle, we can do a little bit of that together. But Lots of mithril, lots of titanium. Having a medium world is awesome, dude. I haven't had a medium world before. This is pretty much my first one that I've actually, like, legitimately stuck to. So, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. It's good to see so much ore. Because I always complain in a small world that you literally don't get enough. And getting the titanium at the end is... can be It can honestly just be so frustrating. So, I think I'm almost done for uh, cobalt anyway. So, I'm going to do a little jump cut, guys. And I'll see you when I have something really interesting to show. Alright, so I have all of my titanium ore now. Well, I'm pretty sure I do. So let's see. Titanium. Okay. Craft that into more bars. And then, yeah, there we go. Got the pickaxe. So while I was actually uh, mining away, I noticed that a pirate invasion is about to happen. It may actually happen as I come up to the spawn now. Uh, I don't know exactly how I'll do against the pirate invasion at this point in the game, but I do feel like I have a pretty good chance at it. Because the reaver shot or the archer fish is really good. Honestly, it is really good. But I don't know where the... Oh, there you go. Here are the pirates. Let's see how we do. All right, let's line them up. Let's get them in the line. And the fun thing is, because we activated the demon trophy, these are going to keep spawning really fast. <laughs> They're not going to, like, let off. Are they actually... Are they jumping up from a ship? Am I oblivious to the ship? <laughs> it looks like they've popped down through there. Obviously, that's my little rope, but... It does look like it. Oh no, Benjamin the Cloth of Year. I don't really care. Because I want James the Cloth of Year. <laughs> Guys, it's almost been one year since Terraria 1.3.5 has been out. And that means I've had one year of people tweeting me pictures of them killing Cloth of Years to get the James Cloth of Year. I'm not going to lie, it's a real privilege. It's almost done. Come on, Dutchman, get out of there. All we're going to get from this is a pirate NPC, for real. 
Why is this one taking forever? There we go. Okay, right. I'm going to go finish the rest of those guys off, and then we're going to go mine some cryogen. And I don't exactly know what it looks like, so this may actually be a bit of a challenge. Okay, so that's out the way. We actually did get a new weapon. It's called the Propus Pistol. Eh, it's all right. It's, it's okay. I mean, it bounces around and stuff, but it's very slow. So, I don't know. Maybe not as, uh, as useful as we want. So, I believe this is cryogen. Or, let's see. Let's put up a little thing. Oh, yeah. Gotta remember, not to drown here. Okay, so what is that? Alright, that's Aerolite. Right, I'm being an idiot. Okay, so that's Aerolite. But we need cryogen. Is this cryogen? It's been a while, man. Like, when I think about it, it's been so long since I've mined any. Alright, that's Cobalt. Okay, it's not working out too well for me. So which one? Is that cryogen? That looks a little bit cryogeny. Okay, that is cryogen. And our vein miner doesn't actually work on it. So there you go. That's not bad. So we literally only used it for a little bit, like I mentioned. Okay, cool. Right, well, I'm going to mine an absolute bunch of this now that I know what it looks like. And then we'll come back and, uh, and craft it all up. Okay, I mined 500, well, 499 of the stuff. So let's see what that'll make. I was trying to think, I was like, well, it won't necessarily, you won't need that much. But I was thinking, well, if it was titanium, you need an absolute bunch, don't you? So let's see. Cryonic ore. How much can we make? Oh, 124 bars. Wow. Okay, let's take these out because we actually need to look at some of the recipes here. Let's turn it off for now. So let's see. So you got the armors. So that's literally just made using the default bars. No extras. That's awesome. Uh, you need one piece of Elium and 20 souls of flight for that. So I've already got that. Uh, and then let's see. What else can you make? This, this is it. It's the Shade Crystal Barrage. This is what I wanted to make. But you need a crystal storm, and I haven't made one of those in a while. So you need 15 souls of light, some crystal shards, and a spell tome. Okay, well that means I need the wizard, and I don't have a wizard. So that's a little bit annoying. Alright, let's 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 make up what we can. What was what was the armor called again? I didn't even look at the name. Let's see, it's called... Alright, they're just called Starlight Wings, but it's called Daedalus. Daedalus. Daedalus armor. Cool. Right, let's put that away. So let's make some Daedalus armor then. All right. Wait. <laughs> Day. What was it? There you go. D A. Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's see. Seventeen defense, three percent increased damage and critical strike chance. Craft that. Leggings. Let's see. Thirteen defense, four percent increased critical strike chance, ten percent increased movement speed. Awesome. Uh, and then the helmet. So we're gonna make a ranger helmet for now. So let's see, 9 defense, 10% increased range damage and critical strike chance, reduces ammo cost by 20%, immune to cursed and gives control over gravity. Oh wow, do you think that's something that you actually have to utilize? So we're now at 47 defense and the set bonus is 5% increased range damage and critical strike chance, getting a hit causes you to emit a blast of crystal shards. So before, 33 defense and we're already up to 47. Right, I'm also going to make the mage one in case I need it, because why not? So let's put that there. And then now that we've got an extra set of armor, let's put it on a mannequin. I tell you what, I remember back in the day, like a couple of years ago, if you wanted to place modded armor on a mannequin, it would break the whole game. So annoying. That was back in the days where, like, Tremor was the only good mod. Even though people absolutely bash that mod now. <laughs> it's funny as well, because I get comments on my Tremor videos. Obviously... Tremor was way before Calamity, but I'll get comments on it like, why are you enjoying this mod so much? Calamity's way better. It's because people don't check the date of the video. <laughs> wings. Okay. Starlight wings. Awesome. Great. Okay. So, precise starlight wings. Wings of the Nightingale. Okay. So, we can get rid of our starlight wings. We can put these away. All right, so I've decided what to do next, and I think it's going to be a little bit out there. I'm not sure if everyone's going to agree with this decision, because it's probably going to end up bad and stupid, right? Let's be honest. Uh, but I decided I'm going to move over Cryogen for a little bit, and I'm going to try the boss that's actually here. So when I first went to the Abyss Biome, you guys were explaining it to me. Essentially what happens is, when you dive down, the further you go, the harder it is to breathe. And I thought that was a really cool concept because it means that, like, the longer, basically, the further into the game you get, the more equipment that you can get, and basically, the more stuff you can get down below. So, it's cool. It's a biome that literally swaps uh, depending on uh, on what you're up to. 
So that's really cool. And I thought that was amazing. But apparently it does have a boss. And apparently it's really easy. And I was kind of like, well, let's have a go at an easier boss. May as well. And uh, so, yeah. So apparently it... Oh, God. I don't need to get out there. So, yeah. Apparently what happens is when you're here, you have a chance of actually spawning this boss in. And I'll show you whereabouts it is on this checklist. So you've got Cryogen here. But then you also have all the mechanical bosses all clumped together. And it's some point in the middle of there. It's here. It's called the Aquatic Scourge. So if I open it up, use the seafood in the sulfuric thing or wait for it to spawn on the sulfuric sea. Oh, what did I just take then? Let's take another flipper. Okay, I took another flipper. Whatever. But yeah, that's essentially how you get it to spawn. So I was like, let's give that a go. I don't know how long it takes to spawn or whatever. So I don't even know if we're literally able to do it yet. But um, I'm going to wait around and see. And uh, if it spawns, I'll jump cut it back in. And if not, wasted opportunity and we'll move on to something else. But we'll see. I have a, I have a strong feeling it will show up eventually. Kind of like Leviathan. I don't know if it's going to spawn deep down though. So I might like dive down a little bit every now and again. I haven't got any gills on me though. So yeah. Alright, I'm going to try something risky. I was running out of potions anyway. So I'm going to use a Zerg. But this is super risky because all the enemies in here are actually insane. So I'm hoping I can bait some of them out, like, and not get killed. And see if I can see anything unique. Oh my god, these guys bounce so high. Okay, I don't see anything I don't already recognize. Yeah, I recognize all of these. I guess I kill one off, <laughs> may as well. Okay, oh, oh, alright. Alright, okay. Yep, nothing so far, so I guess I'll keep you posted, guys. Oh my god, there it is. That's it, right? Okay, let's turn off Zerg. Let's do uh, Zen. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's huge. Can I use Rage on it already? Hell yeah, I can. Awesome. Okay. I've already knocked off a good amount of damage. This is probably already the first part of the fight, though. Oh! God, he was nowhere near where I thought he would be. I thought, oh my god, it moves in a weird way. I thought it was way further back. Okay. Oh god, fish, get out of my way so I can use adrenaline at least. Okay. Oh my god, was... <laughs> no way. Alright, that needs a buff. That's probably already getting a buff looking at that. Oh my Jesus. Really? For real? Yeah, that's probably getting a buff. <laughs> Sorry about that calamity. If that's getting a buff, yeah, it's easy getting a buff. Because that was... Yeah, that was easy in the desert scourge. Okay. Right, so... Now that that's out of the way, let's open it up. Bam. Okay, so... Oh, it's kind of like the desert scourge. I guess that makes sense. So what I get? I got some crate potions. Victory shards. Oh, oh, that's probably why it's so easy. I get it. I get it. Okay. Well, I wonder if it drops anything else. I might actually do that one again and farm it out a little bit. I'm going to put some of this stuff away first. May as well give it a farm. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. Awesome. Crate potions as well. Let's see this. Aquatic emblem. Most ocean enemies become friendly and provides water breathing. Being underwater slowly boosts your defense over time but may also slow movement speed. The defense boost and movement speed reduction slowly vanishes while outside of the water. Maximum defense boost is 120. Maximum movement speed reduction is 30%. And then shoddy downpour. What's this? I'm guessing this is like... Oh, it's like... A scepter? Hmm. Finds a spray of water that drips... Oh, okay. So it really is like the Desert Scourge then. Okay, cool. Well, I might... Uh... Oh, I don't know why I put that away. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to farm that out again. I'll, I'll see what I can get from a different drop. Okay, I farmed it out one more time. Second attempt I died because one of those maulers showed up. It's funny because the mauler is actually harder than the boss itself. Uh, so let's open this up. Bam. What do we get? Anything new? The Barnacle Burr. Cool. Alright, let's see what this does. So, it's a bow. So that's obviously good for us because we're a ranger. Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is cool, man. 
Sick. Could you imagine this against the Destroyer? I imagine the Destroyer doesn't do piercing, but that is so sick. Strong as well. All right, cool. Well, I think we've found a new weapon to use, guys. That's really, really cool. I, I, I could honestly do with something that would, like, break the shield of Cryogen first, though, before I use that. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, I didn't know that it actually does that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know you could open up text while you're in a mod. <laughs> I accidentally hit enter. I was like, hey, cool. Right, let's... Hmm... Let's put some stuff away. So I do need to work on getting the summoning device for Cryogen. And still need to think about my weapon. I think... Hmm. I'm just not sure, in all honesty, what exactly I want to use. I'll think of it, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, I've got everything that I need for, uh, for Cryogen. I'm going to give it a go. I think, uh, I think when it comes to this, I just want to give it a go see how well we do and just kind of move on from there because at a minute because i've not done this in a while like i haven't jumped into calamity in a while like i don't know i feel like i need to test the waters i mean pre-hard mode was fun because i knew exactly what i was doing but now i'm in hard mode it's interesting so right cryo key let's see do you need to make it a demon altar no you make it an anvil so 50 ice block free soul of night free soul of light and then some ilium How's it called? Cryo key. Okay, cryo key. Awesome. Do you have to do it at night? I don't think you do. Right, let's build up some. Uh, let's build up some rage before we begin. So where's our nurse at? All right, she's over there. All right, she's over here. Okay, nurse. I need you to heal me. So I'm just gonna walk into this and build up my rage. This is actually recommended from you guys, by the way. I can't remember, because I recorded a clip showing this off, and I can't remember if I actually left it in the edit or not. I think the day I did it, I was running out of time. So if I did already show that, my apologies. All right, let's go over to the uh, to the arena where we're going to do this, and let's give Cryogen a good go. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm not going to lie. I think it's going to be an interesting one. All right, let's activate a Zen potion. So I don't get mauled. And I'm going to do it where I did uh, the Ear of Worlds. Because it's an ice biome. And it's an arena already. Okay. I'm wondering when I'm going to get my heart attack buff. I don't know. Alright. Well, let's chill here for one minute. Let's get ready. Let's uh, open the map. Well, let's close the map. Let's buff up. Let's get ready again. So that's going to take us up to 520 health already. And then we're going to use a combination of Rage and Adrenaline. So what I'll do is I'll save my Rage for when we actually get to open the fight up. I need to get rid of that slime. That's one thing. I wish you could get rid of Gravitation because it's kind of confusing. Okay, where you at, Cryogen? All right, you're over there. All right, let's see if we can break. Oh, the shell. Oh, okay. I get it. All right, the shell isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, all right, that's taken out biome, so can't do that. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Not bad. Yeah, for some reason, I thought all the shell was going to be, like, the shield was going to be, like, individual pieces. Oh, God, don't want to get hit by those. Oh, man, I've already lost my adrenaline. I wasn't even paying full attention to the adrenaline. I've already lost it. Okay. I thought for a second I was, like, building... Oh, God. Oh, God. I thought for a second I was building up adrenaline really well, and then I actually looked and I was like, oh, got in. Yeah, there's a lot of particles at play here. So I guess for us, it's going to be just like keeping cool, staying alive, keeping cool. You like a joke? <laughs> Unintentional pun, right? I do lots of those. Okay, that's it. Build up your shield, buddy. Yeah, the chances of me getting another... Uh, well, the chances of me getting adrenaline in this fight are so slim. The chances of me getting rage at this point are pretty high. There's just so many projectiles. I'm not sure exactly how to move around them. Yeah, Cryogen's a pretty good fight. This is not bad. Obviously, this fight could get even harder. Oh, God. All right. It's a kind of, yeah, it's not a shame. It's a shame in my sense, because I'm not very good at it. But it's a shame because I'm so bad that I won't get adrenaline. Oh, God. Or I might get close. I'm getting close. 
Oh my god, get these out of the way. Okay, so I've got my adrenaline now. So I'm going to wait until the shield's down and we're going to use adrenaline. So he's going to put up another shield in a second. And when that one goes down, we're going to use adrenaline. Okay. Where's, where's it gone? Did it teleport? I didn't know it could even do that. Right, adrenaline. Wait, what? What are you doing? What? Oh, that's gutting. I didn't realize it was going to teleport away. I should have left the minimap on, really, then. Oh, God. Okay, so now it's going... It's derping out. I ran out of bullets? What on earth? Oh, man. Here's me thinking I can best cryogen. Run out of bullets like an idiot. Okay. Derping out. What a brilliant... What a brilliant expression. That was me when I ran out of bullets or arrows. Derping out. You know what? I really do feel like we could get a rage here if I don't die first. Because we're taking enough damage for a rage. Okay. Come on, Cryogen. Oh, man. I wish I had my arrows because I was enjoying that bow so much. All right, buff up if I can. All right, we're so close to that rage. I'm kind of like, just give me it. Okay. It's annoying how it has, like, various phases where it just kind of, like, fades out. Well, it's only annoying for the player. It's not annoying as in the fight. I always have to feel like I have to clarify that. When I say something's annoying, I mean it's, like, annoying for me to do, not annoying in general. Like, in terms of the fight, it's really good. Okay. Alright, use that rage. Harness it. Oh god, we're so close to the end. Okay. Come on. Come on, Cryogen. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Come on. Cryogen, you're so close. If only I had that bow, you'd be dead by now. Oh god, Cryogen's shield, man. Break through. Break through. Okay. Right. We're so close. Look at that. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. So that is two death mode bosses in our first hard mode episode. Can we get a hell yeah for that? Hell yeah! Can we get a my man? I tell you what, I, I might still have this. Let me check. This might be too loud, but we'll see. My man! My man! There you go. That's what I use for live streaming. Alright, okay. So let's see here. Right, Cryogen. You managed to bring down what dozens of sorcerers long ago could not. I am unsure if it has grown weaker over the decades of imprisonment. Yeah, I think it's grown weaker too, buddy. Hell <laughs> yeah, look at that. We got the Frost Flare. So all melee attacks of projectiles inflict frost burn, immune to frost burn, resistant to cold attacks. Oh, do you know what? I didn't even use a warmth potion. I should have used a warmth potion. Damage Glacier Crusher. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got a frost core as well. A soul of cryogen. The magic of the ancient ice castle is yours. Counts as wings. Right, can you guys let me know if they're better wings than we have now? Oh, I guess 10% increase all damage and pick speed is pretty good. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to leave a like. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. It is actually unreal, and I can't wait. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.